all engine models maintenance minute, we're going to take a look at proper installation of fluid lines. So in this demonstration, we're going to, uh, let's just say we've replaced our scavenge oil filter differential pressure sensor. All the lines are disconnected still. I've gone a little further and I've loosened the B nuts on the other side of the lines as well, down here and here. I've even loosened the P clamp below the, uh, the differential pressure sensor itself. So the lines are all nice and loose. And this is really the key to getting proper alignment between the, uh, the ferrule of the tube and the ball nut of the fitting that we're attaching it to. We want things loose so they can find uh, their proper alignment as we assemble them. So with everything loose, a little free play and all the lines and components, we'll start installing our B-nuts. Just hand tight for now. And this is where that free play comes in really handy. Helps us to get the, a good alignment so it's no effort to get our B-nuts started. So with our B-nuts now, just hand tight. Go down and check these. Make sure they're hand tight. Now we can begin to tighten things like the, uh, the pressure sensor itself as well as this, uh, this P cushion P-clamp. And then of course we'd go back with a torque wrench and put proper AMM specified torque on all of these. One thing I really wanted to point out was proper torquing technique. Uh, right now our B-nut is just hand tight and we're about to, uh, to do what used to be called a triple torque method. That method's changed a little bit uh, in recent years. But the thing I really want to point out is um, the AMM specified torque for this B-nut is probably going to be higher than the torque required to install this steel reducer fitting into this aluminum switch housing. So we always want to use a backup wrench on these reducer fittings. Otherwise, when we torque the B-nut, we may be putting an over-torque condition on that reducer fitting. So now with my backup wrench on this reducer fitting, I can set my torque wrench for whatever the AMM is specifying for this B-nut and apply my torque. There it is. We're not done yet though. We've made a good seal by going to uh, the proper torque value there. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to back it off a little bit. Go back to hand tight. And we're going to torque it again. Check it once. Check it again. There, the B-nut is properly torqued and we have not overstressed the reducer fitting into the switch housing. Okay, and that's it for installing fluid lines. I hope you enjoyed the maintenance minute and I'll see you next time.